Today we're reading Natsumi by Susan Lendroth and illustrated by Priscilla Burris. For a small girl, Natsumi did everything in a big way. She jumped high, played hard, and slurped noodles like a sumo wrestler. But, not so fast, Natsumi, scolded Grandmother when they went to the park. Not so hard, Natsumi, warned Father when she practiced her ninja moves. Not so loud, Natsumi, called Mother every time her daughter shut a door. Only Grandfather smiled and said nothing. Each year, Natsumi's village held a festival of traditional Japanese arts, and her family spent weeks practicing for it. Natsumi wanted to try everything. First, she gathered flowers with Grandmother who carefully selected each bloom. Natsumi picked everything. Let's shake out any bugs, said Grandmother. Tap, tap, tap. She gently wrapped the stems against her cupped palm, like this. Slap, slap, slap! Natsumi whipped her bouquet into a cloud of pollen, leaves, and ants. Not so fast, na, na! Natsumi, sneezed Grandmother. In the afternoon, Father asked, Would you like to help me with the tea ceremony? Yes, Natsumi cried, plopping down beside him. Father measured powdered tea into a bowl, poured hot water, and carefully whisked the mixture into froth the color of spring grass. Then he added tea and water to the second bowl and handed Natsumi the whisk. She stirred, she beat, she whirled her tea into a cyclone. Father wiped green flecks from his glasses. Not so hard, Natsumi, he said. Later, Natsumi joined mother at dance rehearsal. Girls and women dipped and turned, flicking fans open and shut like butterflies. Natsumi flicked her fan open, then shut, open, whoosh, shut, click. The harder she flicked, the louder it snapped. She was a samurai leading troops to battle with her mighty war fan. Natsumi flung her arms wide. Yeah! Launched like a rocket, the fan twirled across the room and bounced off Mrs. Tanaka's knee. Sorry, called Natsumi. Not so loud, Natsumi, whispered Mother. That evening, Grandfather found her slumped outside. Come. Walk with me, Natsumi-chan, said Grandfather. No matter what I do, something always goes wrong, said Natsumi. I'm sure you'll find the right fit if you keep looking and listening, replied Grandfather. They strolled toward the village hall. Natsumi heard a sound like muffled thunder. Boom, 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 boom. The very air seemed to quiver. Come on, Grandfather, Natsumi urged. For the next two weeks, Grandfather met Natsumi after school every day and brought her home late each afternoon. When Mother asked where they had been, Natsumi replied, 
It's a surprise. On festival day, grandmother's flowers brighten the stage. Father served tea to the mayor. And mother danced. When the rest of the family sat down for the closing ceremony, grandbrother and Natsumi disappeared into the crowd. Thank you for joining our celebration, said the mayor. Now we have one final performance, the beginning of a new tradition for our village. Our own Taiko drummers. Boom! Drum beats shook the eaves. Boom! Grandmother felt her sandals vibrate. Boom! 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 boom. <gasps> Look! Father pointed at the smallest drummer on the stage, Natsumi. Boom! 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 boom, boom. With each beat, Natsumi's sticks flew faster. With each boom, she pounded harder. And one day, Natsumi hoped to be the loudest drummer of them all.